Florence Pugh was described as both mischievous and rambunctious on the set of Dune Part 2, but the reason she had to be separated from co-star Timothy Chalamet during filming is actually pretty hilarious. Arguably one of the most anticipated blockbusters in recent memory, Dune Part 2 has emerged as a critical juggernaut. With reviews enthralled by the sci-fi epic's riveting performances, this star-studded cast includes the likes of Zendaya, Javier Bardem, and many other A-listers. On paper, Dune could be considered one of the more inaccessible and weird franchises, making it all the more exciting that director Denis Villeneuve tied down such a magnetic cast. Two standouts in Dune Part 2 are Chalamet and Pugh, who previously worked together on Greta Gerwig's Little Women. While Chalamet's Paul Atreides has been with Dune since the beginning, Pugh is a newcomer in the second installment, stepping into the role of Princess Irulan. Without getting into spoilers, Dune fans know that the characters don't spend much time together. Despite not sharing much screen time, Chalamet and Pugh couldn't be on set together because of their habit of shenanigans and off-screen rapport. In a profile for Time, Villeneuve revealed that the two A-listers had to be kept separate because they were having too much fun. The filmmaker called Pew mischievous and went on to describe the Oscar nominee as a rambunctious child. And once you dip deeper into the co-star's bond, and you'll realize they're goofballs, just like the rest of us. While hosting a Doom Part 2 discussion for Fandango, Nas Perez discussed Pew and Chalamet's antics. Perez said, I was reading that you guys had to be separated on set because you were having so much fun, and I know you like calling him Shalamala Bing Bong. Pew responded, so My grand calls him Shalamala Bing Bong, so... Pew was the one who came up with that nickname. In a chat with The Guardian in 2018, the actress revealed that she mistakenly referred to Chalamet by his nickname in person. She said, I accidentally called him Timothy Chalamala Bing Bong to his face. He was like, what? And I was like, nothing. Previously, Pew only privately referred to Chalamet by his fake name in conversations with her grandmother. Chalamet and Pew have a great friendship, but the Wonka actor also has a surprisingly cute dynamic with his co-star's grandmother. While speaking with Trending Hollywood at the Dune 2 premiere in London, Pew mentioned she brought her grandma to the event. For Chalamet, this was a huge win. As Pew said, they have a special relationship. Chalamet then joked that he knew Granny Pat before he knew Pew, as evidenced by their on-set hijinks and banter during interviews. Chalamet and Pew are more than just cordial co-workers. It's easy for egos to prevail on set, but the Doom Part 2 actors have nothing but respect for one another. While speaking with Variety, Chalamet revealed how he and Pew have laughed about the similarities between their collaborations. He told the outlet, We were joking on set that we keep doing these movies and we end up together even though we should be ending up with different people. Florence Pugh is amazing in this movie. Switch to Pugh's POV and it's the same vibes. Her admiration for Chalamet began on the set of Little Women. Chalamet is notably one of the few principal male actors in the mostly women cast, but that didn't stop him from becoming friends with Pugh and the other Little Women on set. Pugh told Grazia, Timmy was so involved with all the girls. He was just as desperate to be a part of our gang as we were. He was instantly in with the jokes and the wrestling. Everything about that dynamic didn't feel like we were welcoming a boy. It was really wonderful. 